Hello everyone, this is Akash here from blenderskill.webs.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this text which has a uniform arrangement of spheres or marbles or beads in Blender. Now, this text effect is really easy to create. Most of you were requesting me a tutorial on this. So now let's create this. So let me show you the final scene first. So this is the final scene. We have a text with a particle system. Uh, which has the particle settings and that sphere so this is the sphere which you can arrange it using the particle system on this text and uh, let me hide the particle system now and also we have some two lamps two plain lamps uh, with an emission uh, shader one is orange and one is blue so we get that nice comp uh, we get that nice complementary effect so we'll be creating this nice a nice scene so let's start by creating this so open up a new scene in blender file new reload startup file so this is the default scene in blender start by deleting the default key by pressing x and delete now let's add the text so press shift a and then select text this has the text rotate the text by pressing r then x then 90 then enter now come to the edit mode to change your text by pressing the tab key now change your text I'm going to write Blender in uppercase. Uh, let's write in uppercase. Yep. After changing your text, you can come out of the edit mode by pressing the tab key again. Now drag out this panel to view more properties. Go to the object data, which has a F icon, and change the extrude value to be about 0.1. Don't change the depth or the resolution. If you want to change your font, come over here and then uh, click on this regular uh, open uh, icon and then you can choose your font but I'm going to use a default font come down and then you'll find the paragraph section change the alignment from left to center so now we are ready with our text now let's create that sphere which is gonna be used for the particles let's come in the second layer then press shift A from mesh select UV sphere press T to bring up the tools panel and change the segments to be about 16 and the rings to be about 8. This gives us a low poly sphere, also enable smooth shading. Come back to the first level pressing 1 on your keyboard and select a text. Now this text is a text, it's not a mesh. So if you go to the edit mode you can only change your text. But we want to make it a mesh. So to make it a mesh, press Alt-C and then select mesh from curve meta surf text. Now we have a mesh which can be edited. I'm going to come in the orthographic view. Now come in the edit mode and pre press A once or twice till everything is selected. Then press T to bring up the tools panel. Come down and then select remove doubles. Now it may remove some uh, vertices but for us uh, it didn't remove any vertices. Anyway it's fine. So just uh, change the shading to be flat. Also, come over here in the Modifiers tab and select Add Modifier and then Remesh. And then uncheck Remove Disconnected Pieces, then increase this octree depth. You're going to be using 7. 7 is fine. Yeah. Let me again remove all the time. Yeah, so why are we using this Remesh? Now, if you don't use Remesh, if you see the arrangement of the vertices now, it's not uniform. Now, when we use the particle system, more uh, particles will be in these vertices, while the other regions will be just blank and won't look good. So, when we apply this remesh, um, if I show you, yeah. So, when we apply this remesh, you'll see that the vertices arrangement is more uniform, and it will give us this nice effect. So, apply this modifier. Now, if I come in the edit mode, now I can see. It's the arrangement of the vertices is uniform and gives us all square faces. It's pretty good now. So now we have a text. Now let's set up the particles. So go to the particle system settings tab and then click new to add a new particle system. Change the type to hair. Also check advanced and change the emit from to words and uncheck random. Come down and in the render uh, select object and change the uh, and select the object sphere. 
So now we have got this sphere. Decrease the size. Um, let's use about 0 0.01. Yep. Don't uh, change the random size. Now, as you can see, we don't have enough particles to cover our entire text. So we can uh, add more particles. So as you can see, if you come in the edit mode of the text, if you select all the vertices, you'll see the vertices count over here, which is 5398. That's, uh, change this submission number also to be 5398. This is going to give us more particles, which is going to fill the whole text, which is nice. I think we'll decrease the size a bit more. 0 0.005, I think. Yes, much, much nice. So you can experiment with these values, and I think this is much, that's it in the particles now. now let's go to the materials. So the materials for the sphere is um, basic material. So click new in the materials panel, change the blender render to be the cycles render engine. Uh, click on use nodes, change the surface type to be mixed shader. First shader to be diffuse, second shader to be glossy. Uh, change the roughness of the glossy to be zero. And the color of the diffuse to be black. Also the glossy color to be a bit gray. And uh, let, uh, let's leave the FSC. If you want, you can also change the viewport color to be black itself. That's nice. Now, as you can see, this is just you know, like that. Also, one more thing in the particle settings is that um, just uncheck emitter. If you uncheck it, it won't render the original text. So that's good now. now let's add the floor. So for the floor, we'll be using the plane. Uh, let me hide the particles. So to add the floor, press Shift A, Mesh Plane. Scale the plane by pressing S, 100, and enter. Uh, come in the front view, and uh, get me on the particles for this step. Now, once when you're on this particles, you'll see that some of the particles are going below the plane. So move the plane just below the particles, like that. That's good now. Now let's add the material for the plane. So go to the materials tab, click new. Change the surface type to be mixed shader, first shader to be diffuse, second shader to be glossy. Change the roughness of the glossy to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and the FAC to be 0 0.3. Um, that's good. And now for the lamps. Now for the lamp, we'll be using the plane. So delete this default lamp by pressing X and delete. And press Shift A, Mesh Plane. Go to the top view. And rotate the plane by pressing R, then X, then 90, and enter. Then press R again, then uh, Z for the Z axis, 90, and then enter. I could have used Y axis. Yes. Now move it over here, the left side, the text. Now go to the materials panel, click new. Change the surface type to be emission. And change the strength to be about 15, I guess. Uh, 1.5. <laughs> By use fifteen and all that again. Now change the color to be a bit orange color. It's nice. And press Shift D and press X for the X axis and move this plane to the right side of the text. Click on two to make a separate material and just change the color to be a blue color. Yeah. So now we have the lamps. Uh, just move these lamps just a bit above the plane like that. Yeah. It's nice. And also, uh, go to the object data which has a cube icon by selecting one of the plane. Come down and uh, in the ray visibility, uncheck camera and do the same thing for the other plane also. Yeah. So now, uh, now let's change the walls color. Let's go in the walls panel, change the color to be black. Let's save the projects from the file menu. Select save, save the project. So now let's uh, uh, set up a camera view. So come in the view menu, select camera, then press N to bring up the properties, check lock camera to view. Now you can uh, just rotate the view and place your camera. Now this is fine. So you can use any view you want. Uh, let's use this view. Yep. So now if you just come in the render preview mode, uh, we, have, we have hidden the particles. 
So now let me bring up the particles now. As you can see, the light is only from the sides. We are not getting much light from the front. So let's just uh, edit the plane to make uh, to make it a bit more. What should I say? Okay, just extrude this area of the plane so that it casts the light in the front side also. So select uh, go to the edit mode by selecting one of the planes. Uh, select uh, two vertices like this, one side actually. Then press E to extrude and place it like this. Same way for the other plane also. E to extrude. And uh, you can also do it like to the other side. Or like that. Um, yeah. Yep. Pretty nice. We don't want those areas to be seen. Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, should be pretty good actually. Uh, oh, I'm gonna hide the particles. Yeah, now it looks pretty much better now. So as you can see, our text is now properly lit up. So now we're ready to render the scene. So I'm just gonna save my project, come in the render panel, come down, change the samples. For my final scene, I use only 200 samples, but for now, I'm going to be using 150 samples. And after changing, save your project by pressing Ctrl S and click on Render. So it's going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video till it's finished. And then we are going to move into the compositor to increase the brightness and add the vignette. All right, so the rendering is finished. Now let's go to the compositor. So change this UV image editor to be the node editor. And come in the render panel and check use nodes. So now we have got a basic node set up. Now we're going to be doing a very basic compositing, only a vignette and increasing the brightness. So let's start by creating a vignette. So let's add in a lens distortion node first. So um, I'm just going to search because I'm lazy to find it out. Um, change the distort to be 1. I'm going to off the backdrop actually. Place it here. Add in a math node, uh, change the type to be greater than, and change the value to be zero, and add in a blur node. Change the type to be fast Gaussian, check relative, and X. Um, let's use 10%, I think. Let's wait, that's 20. No, 30. 30% and 30% is pretty good alright so let's use 30% and then add in a mix node by pressing shift a color mix place it over here uh, put the original image into the top input change the type to be uh, multiply place it over here so um, now we've got the vignette but now the brightness has decreased a lot let's add in a RGB curves node so press shift a uh, color RGB curves and place it over here and increase this increase the brightness as much as fine and just connect the RGB curves to the final composite and press Ctrl S to save your uh, save your project. Now come in the UV image editor, change the render result to be the U viewer node. Viewer node. So this finishes the tutorial guys. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something from it. So this was the final scene, it's pretty similar to what we created and it's pretty easy, you can try this on other objects also. I hope you all enjoyed this, please subscribe uh, for more tutorials and also leave a comment. If you want to download the finished Dublin file, you can visit blenderskill.webs.com to download the finished Dublin file. And thanks for watching, please subscribe, leave a comment.